And nestled in the heart of Baltimore, Stem and Vine is a haven for those seeking balance, rejuvenation, and a deeper connection with their well-being. We need that. We all balance. could use that, yes. uh, Meg. Okay, and that's where we find our Miana Massey this morning with all the details. Good morning, Miana. Yes, good morning, Stefan. Good morning, Meg. It really is all about living a healthy lifestyle, learning about STEM. We are here with the uh, owner of STEM and Vine here in downtown along Charles Street, right? Uh, STEM and Vine, tell me about the concept. Tell me about this shop. So many amazing things in one space here. Yes, it is. Um, we wanted to do something unique uh, um, that brings uh, a lot of my history to, uh, to what we're doing here. I'm a retired engineer. And uh, I wanted to promote STEM in a different kind of way. Um, I've traveled a lot throughout my career and seen different types of, uh, of plants around the world, and I wanted to bring them here uh, and also show people that many of them you're already growing in your homes. Uh, these plants aren't from big box stores. They're from unique places, uh, and we wanted to highlight that. But additionally, um, plant-based products like wines and spirits uh, are also uh, international and global, and we wanted to bring those here as well, and uh, and put those with the with the plants from those native areas. Perfect. Uh, well, thank you so much. And you also mentioned when we were talking, it's about highlighting local entrepreneurs, yes. local artists, people here right in the Baltimore community. And so we love that. Coming up just after the break, in just a couple of minutes, we'll actually speak with a gallery. Uh, she curated a gallery here. So we've got art, we've got plants, we've got wine, anything and everything. And we'll tell you all about that in just a couple of minutes. Stefan and Meg, sending it back to you. All right, Miata, thank you so much. Simon Wine on Charles Street has a unique concept for all to enjoy. Yes, and that's where our Miata Massey is learning all about it. Miana, we love it. Yes, yes, yes. We are back at Stem and Vine, and I am with the owner, uh, Quincy Goldsmith, to tell me all about it. I mean, we talked about some of the wine, some of the plants. A big piece is the art, the gallery here, the experience. Talk to me about why this piece here is so important to you. Um, this is the only piece in the space that's not for sale. It's um, it's a painting of a newspaper article from 1920 that features Thomas Queen, a former slave who taught himself uh, horticulture and then went on to work uh, in, down in Annapolis um, at the State House. Yes, yes, and you talked about uh, community, right, and culture and making sure that people know where they come from, right? Annapolis right here in Maryland. And so this gallery here really highlights a lot of artists here in Baltimore, here in Maryland, also around the country. We talk about that diversity piece. And so here is the curator, Lisa Clark, right? Lisa yes. Clark. And so tell me a little bit about the concept, the idea behind it. We know we want people to feel uh, the inclusivity, uh, feel good when they come in here. Yes. And again, my name is Lisa Clark, and I'm part of the Black Art Today Foundation. Um, we collaborated with uh, Quincy to curate this space. We talked about the feel and the atmosphere that he wanted for this space, and so we decided to go with some florals, um, also some things that are kind of not necessarily a floral, but they're tied to nature in some kind of way, shape, or form, and also to give um, warmth and vibrance and just something to spark interest in conversation while people are here enjoying the wine, enjoying one another, taking in the, the art as well as some of the music that he has going at times. And we picked this particular piece, which is by an artist from California by the name of Mr. Scott Fulton. And these are ethically sourced um, butterflies from South America. Mm -hmm. uh, he had a concept, he saw a bunch of butterflies land on a, on a tree and he says, oh my goodness, that looks like a dress. I think I could do this. So he uses the same concept that butterfly collectors do to preserve the butterflies and he uses pins and first he draws the image and then he adds the butterflies to that. Um, the rest of the pieces in this area are sourced by are from local artists, some from Baltimore, some from Prince George's County. We have some artists as well as um, out of Virginia. But all of the artists here are uh, brown, black, African-American women, mm -hmm. as well as members of the LBGTQ community. Wow. So we wanted to ensure we had inclusivity 
in the art as well as the artists behind the artwork. Yes, yes, and it clearly shows through. And so we talk about some of the art pieces, some of the wine, the plants. When you come here, it is a total experience. And so there are events throughout the summer. You can come, you can enjoy, bring your family, bring your friends, and you can just head to the website, Stem and Vine. Stem and Vine Baltimore .com. Stem and Vine We'll be here for a couple more minutes. We're actually going to be showing you a mural that is going up in this space, helping to beautify and create the entire experience. We'll show you that in just a couple of minutes. For now, I'm Miana Massey for WJZ, sending it back to you all. Thank you, Miana.